What's up, YouTube? It's Cards of Michael, and we're doing a belated birthday opening for Paul A. Uh, he wanted to do something on both my channel and Kraken Packs MTG. You'll have seen Kraken Packs MTG have already opened the uh, Double Masters VIP case, and now we're going to do some Double Masters 2022. We opened an inner case of Double Masters VIP on Kraken Packs MTG, and we're going to be opening a collector and a draft booster of Double Masters 2022. All right, Paul. Let's get to it. Let's go ahead and open this draft booster. So, draft boosters sitting pretty around 310, 300 and change um, on TCG Player. They've actually relatively been stable. Uh, they were 320 maybe like a, about a week ago and they've kind of climbed downward a little bit, but still, it's a sweet set. The rares, you know, you got exhibits at the rares uh, <clears throat> and plenty of Huge hits in the Mythic slots. And of course, you can get borderless cards. So, yeah, here we go. These are Japanese print. And <laughs> look at that. Jeez. Pack one. Foil borderless Grim Flare. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. And we got a Monastery Mentor and Hostage Taker. We will take it. Any other borderless cards? A lot of the borderless cards end up being like a dollar or two. So, a little bit of value here and there. And on to the next pack. Here we go. So, yeah, um, I've been enjoying these Japanese style packs a little bit more. The foil card quality, ooh, foil rare, is really nice. Um, I'm a big fan. And honestly, I don't know. I'll miss this set once it kind of leaves rotation and starts creeping back up to becoming legendary status like the uh, Double Masters OG. That's just like one of those things, right? Like right now, if you buy one of these, you might make your money back. You, know, you like legitimately might. Um, we'll find out if we do here. A lot of it is on the, you know, double uh, Imperial Seal value. But, you know, some of these rares here and there. A little Flicker Wisp action here. And that's it. Oh, that OG 7th edition. Actually, I don't know. Maybe Rampant Growth came out before 7th edition. But that's where I know that art. It's kind of when I started playing Magic. I think a lot of people... Started playing Magic with that 7th uh, edition Thorn Elemental starter deck. Kali of the Vast. We'll take that Mythic. Talrond. And, ah, I love this card. Look at that. It's a nice little 2 for 1, 3 for 1 action. Alright. We keep going. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a way of opening Japanese packs that someone, Adish, just taught me. Kind of just snap it off right there. Here we go. What's our rares? We got a Sensor Splicer, Scab, Micaeus, the Lunark, Joda. And I do see a Borderless and Borderless cards here. Coiling Oracle and a Thought Scour. Okay. Take those. So yeah, the way you do it, roll it up like this. And then you pinch right here. Two fingers pinch. And pow. I don't know if that makes sense, but it is quite enjoyable to open like that. A little Dingus Egg. Agony Warp, this figure. Divine Visitation, all right. Bellum Reveler and Devoted Druid. These have still managed to stay about a dollar range. A combo card. All right, here we go. On to the next pack. Got three Mythics so far. Got a Foil Borderless Groom Flayer. And we got Conquered and Crossroads. Hydroid Crisis. Still so surprised that that thing isn't worth like a million dollars. Nice little Shadowborn Apostle. A little bit of common value as well. And we keep going. Here we go. Lotlift Troll, Carrier Thrall, Aether Vial, Borderless Rare. Gorgeous. Just a gorgeous card. Teferi's Protection. A little rare action there as well. Ooh, Path to Exile. We take those. All right. And we keep going, we keep going. Here we go, on to the next pack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bounty, Capture Sphere, Panharmonicon. Ding, 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 a little bit of value there. And I'll Spell Pierce Borderless action. On to the next, here we go. Monetary Swift Spear, the Umbra, Anguish on Making, Merc Fiend, Leech. And that's it for that pack. On to the next. 
All right. Maybe in the comments, if you just write Imperial Seal, we got a couple of extra collectors hanging out. Oh yeah, we are also opening a Dominar United collector because uh, it's not quite fair in value if we just open um, Double Master stuff, you know? So we got to open some other stuff. Just to make it even, we're going to open six more Dominar United collectors as well. It's kind of like the chaser, you know what I mean? Here we go. Child of Alara. Skullbriar, and can we, ooh, got a lightning bolt right there. Can we get the spice? Here we go. On to the next pack. Thousand Year Storm is our borderless rare in a Blood Forge battle axe. Kind of the, the meep, the little... Not what we want to see in the rare slot, especially when we're opening the Collector Booster. All right, here we go. On to the next pack. Come on, Imperial Seal. You get that seal, please. Here we go. Muldrotha. Oops, this is supposed to be in the rare pile. Ten of the Harvester. Oh, I love this card. It's really good with Muldrotha as well. It's like Sultai, white, so four card value, you know? All right, on to the next pack. Here we go. Coiling Oracle. City of Brass. Hey, it's a little bit of value. Resto. How the mighty have fallen. I, mean, I remember paying like 16 bucks for Restoration Angel. Maybe even 20-something a while ago. You know, back, back, back in the good old times when we still had Modern. I guess we still have Modern, but Pioneer is a little bit more popular now, I think. Dragon Lord Silimgar. That's a good hit. Oop, that's another dragon that's supposed to be in the rare pile. Splinter Fright. Okay, just a little rare card. <laughs> Glory Scale Viashino. Skin Render. Cube All Star. It's now Phyrexian Zombie. Not used to seeing that. Definitely not used to seeing that. All right, on to the next pack. Yeah, we're going to have to open a lot more packs than Matt has to open because uh, we got a whole. Uh, Draft booster, but that's okay. Got two rares. Ooh, lightning helix action. I also have paid a dollar or two for lightning helixes. Sometimes you just need them. All right, here we go. On to the next. Marchesa, the Black Rose, Elsha of the Infinite, Eternal Witness. Get in the value pile. I think it's mainly just the, the Shadowborn Apostles. Like, those are just free value. Like, when you get value in the common slot, that's just... You know what I mean? Ooh, foil Shadowborn Apostles. Speaking of value, and again, got an Allosaur Shepherd right here. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, these are all rares that I keep putting in the Mythic pile. Now my piles are so messy. All right, here we go. Burning Tree Emissary in the Borderless slot. And let's just take our time to make these piles just a little bit more even we haven't seen a borderless mythic yet unsure if you actually get one guaranteed per box i don't think so um one can hope one can hope anyways on to the next still looking for those imperial seals all right assassin's trophy boar tusk liege um of course also would be happy to see some Goblins. Let me treasure. All right, here we go. Mithrealized. Ballastrud Spy. Alicia. Jeskai Ascendancy. Ooh, Kanza Tarkir throwback. Got a little vampiric rites as well. You got some new cards. You got some old cards in terms of reprints. Just a great set. Can you imagine saving a couple of these to draft with later? Oh, what a great... Oh, and a Smothering Tithe. Nice little rare value in a guided passage. Yeah, beautiful Celestine Sanctuary. All right. So I like what I see. I like what I see. Smothering Tide. We got three more packs left. Hoping to keep up the hits. And here we go. Got the Chaos Warp. Prize Amalgam. And that's it for that one. Oh, I was just kidding. We only had two packs left. Very last pack of the draft booster. Here we go. Got a foil rare. 
glimpse the unthinkable. Got an Alenda, the Dusk Rose. This is like the only valuable card from Rivals of Ixalan. And no, no Borderless Mythic, no Imperial Seal. Still plenty of spice. And now, without further ado, on to the Collector Booster. So, Collector Boosters, unlike Draft Boosters, have been going down a little bit more. Uh, I believe they're at 280 something right now. They have fluttered anywhere between um like they were at one point like 330 but ever since then they've if they've definitely dropped all right here we go i think they have stabilized though so i don't imagine they're going to be lower than 275 like ever all right here we go our first collector booster got the foil lightning bolt upside down mentor and up and a blood bright elf and foil on earth Foil Coiling Oracle, here we go, here we go. Here's our first rare Pything Needle. Oh, wow, look at that. Borderless Mana Vault, we take those. We definitely take those. We got a Jota, Archmage Eternal, and a Foil Borderless Damnation. That is pretty, that is pretty. Ooh, and a Mock Token for Monastery Mentor and Foil. Okay, Foil Damnation. Mana Vault Borderless. We like what we see. Can we get that Imperial Seal Foil as well? Here we go. Ooh, got a fun one. We don't really see too many of these because we haven't been opening too much product, but that's fun. You can feel the, the, the bumps on this Nefalia Smuggler. That's a fun one. We'll put that to the side. We got our Thoughts Scour and Mull Drifter. Is it Boilerworks? A Wall of Omens Foil Borderless. And our first rare is a Lavalanche. Okay. Second one is an Oracle Moldiah. Abbot of Carol Keep. And a Blood Forge Battle Axe. Womp, womp, womp. All right. They seem to throw that in like every other box. I feel like you get a Blood Forge Battle Axe Foil Borderless. That's just the womp, womp from this box. And we're hoping to do better, of course. On this next one, we got the Monastery Swift Spear, Gruel Turf, Terminate, Simic Grove Chamber, Grand Arbiter, Supreme Verdict Borderless, Season Pyromancer, Beautiful Foil, Etched. Hey, there we go. And a Foil Borderless Mana Drain. We take those. We take those. Mana Drain, Mana Vault. All right, here we go. Last pack of double masters let's get some spice let's get some spice here we go all right we got our borderless cards put them to the side here we go season pyromancer all right we'll take it modern staple dragon lord dromoka Ooh, a third borderless mythic anguish on making and for the clothes on the collectors a forbidden orchard foil borderless not bad not bad now, to make things even, and really just to showcase how much value, I guess, Double Masters 2022 has, maybe potentially over um, Double Masters the original, which is now it's kind of a legendary product, right? Like, once you don't have a chance of making your money back, I call it a legendary product. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. There's just a lot of value. A lot of value in newer sets that that still have like kind of peak supply, you know? All right, anyways, here we go. Oh man, I'll never, these are just so fun. Dominar United Collectors, you got that Swamp. Maybe it's less desirable now that we have the Unfinity. That's how it goes. Annoyed Peacekeeper, Rada, Ramirez, the Ever-Changing Dane, and a Braids. All right, that is Collector number one, Dominar United. Fun thing, you can still open them. Open these Dominar United with that trick that I was telling you about. Okay, it wasn't that smooth. All right. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. It kind of looked like a Taiga for a second. All right, here we go. Urtai Resurrected. We got that glossy matted fun foil. And Guardian of New Banalia, Haughty Jin, Ramirez, Ramses, Sten, and Sulkanar the Tainted. All right. All right. What do you guys think? Now that Dominaria United's been out and it's no longer the most recent set, was it a failure or is it a, a win? Uh, did the Legends inserts, did they get old really quick or or no? Like, I don't know. Xur, 
Temporal Firestorm. I think that it was a good, well-marketed, ooh, Carplusion Force. But the fact that they had to, like, they wanted those Legend cards to carry the fact that they were going to put Pain Lands instead of other lands, I guess it's a little frustrating, right? Like, from a value-driven perspective. But I still think Dominant United is going to age well. It's just going to be one of those sets, right? Like, like, there's no other way of obtaining new Legends cards, so why not? Why not, you know? All right, here we go. And by the and by the way, they're pretty cheap right now. Dominant United Collectors. Um, Infinity has eclipsed it in terms of value, so Infinity has just recently been a little bit more expensive than Dominion United. Torsten, Ever Changing Dane, that's the second one. Astor, and a Soldier Token. We got two more packs. Can we get a spicy rare from Legends in these packs? That would be a nice way to close off this very belated birthday opening. Relic of Legends, not a bad card. All right. Nijal the Storm Runner. Golden Argo C. Okay. I didn't even know this was in the set. Evolve Sleeper. And CV Tree Dragon Master. Nice. Etched foil. Orca Siege Demon into a foil borderless Carplusion Forest. Alright. And we got that last pack. Let's see what we can get. Here we go. Here we go. Legends, no legends. We got the glossy fun card, Land of War Green Widow, Sphinx of the Clear Skies, and Defiler of Vigor. All right, Phyrexian Worm. That is all we got for this epic opening. Thank you so much for watching. Paul, thank you so much for sponsoring this. Please leave a thumbs up or a like. I did say a word during the thing, so if you were able to read or listen to the word I would ask you to say, we'll do a little giveaway as well. It's somewhere in the middle of the video, roughly. Actually, about the middle of the draft booster where I'm like, can we please open this? Just comment it in the chat. But yeah. Also, please wish Paul a belated happy birthday and thank you to his generous amount of patronage to get this video done. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one.